Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a waterfall chart in Python by using the library called Plotly. The data is coming directly from an Excel file. In this example, we can see the changes of earnings before interest and taxes, so in short EBRT, from 2018 to 2020. The explanations for the changes are also coming from the Excel file and are displayed outside the boxes. The chart is fully interactive, so if I hover over the chart, I can see additional information, such as the absolute value of the changes. But why would you create a Python waterfall chart if you can do it directly in Excel? Well, you could of course do a waterfall chart in Excel, however I do think that you have much more customization options in Python. For instance, you could change all colors and even the connector lines to your liking or to have stacked waterfall charts. In addition, the interactivity its a nice touch to the chart. But before we are starting, please note that this tutorial is for absolute beginners in Python and I will explain each step as I go along. So if you have never written a single line of code in Python, do not worry, you will be able to follow along and to create your own interactive waterfall chart by the end of this tutorial. The only requirement is that you have already Python installed on your computer. If not, there are already great tutorials out there to show you how to install Python on your machine. First, we will install the required libraries for this project. On Windows, simply press Windows and R and type CMD. This should open up the command prompt. The names of the required libraries are stored in the requirement text file, which you can also find in the description box down below. First, we will install Plotly. Simply type pip install Plotly and press enter. Your screen might look different as I have the libraries already installed on my machine. For you, it might take a minute or two to download and install the packages. And we also need pandas, so this will be pip install pandas. Now let's have a look on the Excel file I have prepared. I have copied also a screenshot of the final chart here in this workbook to explain the data structure much more easily. In the first column we have the categories, so this will be later on our x-axis. Next to it we have the respective values. Please note that whenever there is a total or a subtotal, like EBIT 2019, we will input a zero in here. In column C, we are specifying how Plotly should treat our values in the chart, so meaning changes are indicated as relative and the subtotals and totals are specified as total. Next to it we have some remarks which are explaining the changes. This is actually just a support column for me as it will be not part of the final waterfall chart. However, in column E I am concatenating the values from column B and the remarks. So this will be our labels in the waterfall chart. Um, this is totally optional, you could also leave it blank or delete the entire column. However, for this tutorial I will keep it as it might be also very helpful in a real world business scenario. As I said, the picture was only used for demonstration purpose, so I will delete it from the workbook and save the file again. Having said that, let's create the new Python file. I will call mine waterfall.py. First, we need to import the libraries we just have installed. So this would be import plotly underscore graph underscore objects as go. Next, import plotly. And finally, import pandas as pd. As a next step, we want to read the data from Excel with the help of the pandas library and store it in a variable called df. So df stands for data frame. So this will be df is equal to pd dot read underscore excel and since the excel file is in the same directory as the python script I can simply just type the name of the excel file. In my case I named it data.xlsx. If your excel file is not in the same directory you will need to specify the exact path to the file. Next we will store all values of each column in a separate variable. So x is equal to our data frame 
and in brackets I will type the name of the column. So in my case I named it category. You want to make sure that the names are exactly matching with the names in your Excel file, otherwise you will get an error. Next, y is equal to df and in brackets value and the measure will be equal to df measure. And last but not least our text which is equal to our data frame and the column text. After specifying the variables we can now create the waterfall chart. So this will be fig is equal to go.figure and then go.waterfall and in here you want to specify the measure which is equal to our variable measure. X is equal to X, so our category names. And Y is equal to Y, so our values for each category. Next the text is equal to our text and for the text position I will choose outside. So this is the position where our comment should be displayed. If you want you can also show the text inside the containers. In that case you would just simply type inside here. I will also update the layout. This step is completely optional. If you do not specify anything here, Plotly will just take the default parameters. But for me I will do some changes. So we can specify this by using fig.update and then underscore layout. And first I will give it a title of EBIT development 2018 till 2020 in million USD. Next the title font should be 32 and for the rest of the fonts it should be 16. For the plot background color this should be transparent. So RGBA and then 4 times 0. Alright, almost done. As a last step I want to export the waterfall chart to HTML. In that case I could also send it to my colleagues at work. Even though they might not have Python installed on their machine, they could still open the file and see the interactive waterfall chart. So this will be plotly.offline.plot and then the figure and for the file name I will call mine waterfall.html. Alright, after saving the file we can open up the command prompt again by pressing Windows and R and type again cmd and press enter. In here I will navigate to the file location of the script. For me I store it in a folder on the desktop. So I will use change directory, so cd and then desktop. Next the name of the folder, so cd waterfall underscore plotly underscore excel. And now as I'm in the folder I can type python and then the name of the script. So I call it mine waterfall.py. And after pressing enter we should see our waterfall chart. Great, that was working and here we have it, our fully interactive waterfall chart. The script also has created the HTML file in the same folder of our script. I think this is already pretty cool but if you want to take it even a step further you could also write a macro in VBA which will execute the python script by clicking a button. In that case you can do all the changes directly in Excel, save the file and update the waterfall chart without executing the script from the command prompt. If you're interested in how this works I have a separate video which I will link in the info card above. Ok guys that's it for this tutorial, I hope you found it useful and see you next time.